Proximity marketing. What is it? It's marketing close to people. We decided to look into this. After conducting some research on the currently available technology, we went for what seemed like the most popular and easy to use, bluecasting. Bluecasting uses a Bluetooth device to engage with people. We had three goals. Get a Bluetooth device, see what kind of phones it worked with and how, and see how many people we could get to engage with a Bluetooth advertisement. First, we had to find a Bluetooth proximity marketing device. They're kind of hard to find. When we finally found them, we had to choose which one we wanted. Studies are showing that a very high percentage of possible customers now are carrying cell phones that are Bluetooth enabled. This can be done within 60 seconds by either the desktop software or web updater. Once power is initiated, we'll instantly begin to search and find phones in the proximity. And we will show you how mobile marketing is one of the most cost-effective advertising mediums you will ever use. After sifting through some nebulous web stories, we finally found one. It was kind of hard to buy. Finally, we set it up and were ready to try it out. It worked on some of our phones, but not others. We were a small test group, just an office. How could we see whether people used Bluetooth regularly? Well, everybody likes a free lunch. This is Flix Cafe. It's the go-to lunch spot in our building. A few hundred people go there every day. Most of the people here work in entertainment. We thought they'd be tech-savvy enough to know how to use Bluetooth on their phones. All in all, a pretty perfect test group. So we made some coupons for a free lunch, and we made a Bluetooth ad for our Bluetooth device. Once on the device, the mobile ad was constantly beamed to mobile phones in the area with their Bluetooth on. We set up a table with a Bluetooth sign. Our mobile ad told users to come to the designated table to receive their coupon. Lunch is usually around eight or nine bucks, so we made the coupon worth 10. One of us sat outside to hand out the coupons. The other recorded how many people came to lunch during a two hour lunch rush. We had one hypothesis, phones plus Bluetooth equals food. Day one. We set up the device in the hall leading to Flix. We wanted to see if any of these hip professionals would grab the ad and get their coupon. 305 people came. No one got our ad and came to the table. We had to go back to the drawing board. We decided to put a sign out the next day at the same place and time and see what happened. Day two. 300 people came. Some people interacted with the ad, Some people tried to interact with you. Of those 300, we had two people successfully claim their coupon by showing the mobile ad at the table. Both of them had Android phones. Eight people showed up with iPhones but couldn't get the ad. No one showed up with a Blackberry, or any other phone for that matter. We asked Android users what they thought. Uh, there was a poster outside and as I was walking by, another guy was like, hey, you should do this Bluetooth thing, so I did. <laughs> I use it for a wireless headset to pair to my Motorola Zoom, and I just ordered a wireless keyboard to pair to my Zoom as well. It wasn't enabled, I walked in and turned it on, and then it picked it up and said I got an incoming file. And we asked an iPhone user what he thought. Well, I was just walking by the, the board, okay. and I saw, so then I had to ask around at the, at the cafeteria. But, yeah. I don't know, it didn't want to work. Um, I, I, at first I didn't really know if the phone had Bluetooth, um, but it does, and for some reason it won't connect. I don't really think so much about it. Um, those little things that you put in your ear, I guess they're kind of cool. And this is really cool. Like If you could do more of this stuff, get free crap away through Bluetooth, I would be totally on board with that. Um, yeah. So what did we learn? Flix is pretty high traffic during the lunch rush, and we were offering a free lunch. The first day, we learned that people with Bluetooth rarely check their phone's Bluetooth unless specifically prompted. The second day, we were told a different story. Of the 300 who walked by and potentially saw the sign, 10 people attempted to get the mobile ad and come to the table. Of those 10, only two were able to actually download the mobile ad and turn it in for their coupon. So 3% tried to interact and redeem. Only 20% of that 3% were able to successfully do it. That's 0.6% conversion. What does this all mean? 
Like most great ideas, it sounds pretty cool on paper, but there are still a couple of kinks to be worked out. Additionally, getting people to engage via Bluetooth is pretty difficult, and even when you can get people to take a look at their Bluetooth, it doesn't work with a lot of popular phones. Hopefully, this technology will become more consistent between phones in the future. But even when people have the right phones, some people don't know what to look for or even keep their Bluetooth on, a far cry from the claim touted by some Bluetooth companies that 80% of mobile users have their Bluetooth enabled. It's a pretty cool idea, beaming your message to customers. It sounds like a good way to engage, but for now, it seems like there's still no such thing as a free lunch.